my name is Mario. I'm going to show you my presentation over the disease I chose. And these two would be my audience. Today I chose Clostridium botulinum. Today I'm going to show you five different things over this disease. Botulinum is a rare per paralytic illness. It changes in our body neurologically. Learn the different causes of botulinum. Types of treatment to help botulinum. How to avoid getting this bacteria. See botulinum the basics. Where is it found? Usually found in soil, untreated water, and, and canned food. Types of seed botulinum is foodborne infant wounds and unidentified botulinum, which is Botox and inhalation. Structure. It is a raw shape arranged in single pairs and chains, anaerobic spores forming organism. And it, it is also a gram positive. This bacteria affects hundreds of people a year in the U.S. There is 35 to 65 percent chance of death if untreated. Infant botulinum is very common. This disease is rare, so the rate of someone that gets it is extremely low. Types of botulinum: foodborne rare disease. Foodborne is a rare disease contaminated by canned food. Infants usually get this between the ages of six months and one years old. Wound, wounds is also another cause of this, and Botox and inhalation of botulinum. Foodborne botulinum. This bacteria is mainly found in canned foods. Some ways you can tell the can is contaminated if it's fallen, damaged, or gassy or maybe if it's leaking. Some ways that canned food can contaminate is by low acid content like beets, corn, asparagus. This bacteria is rare. Symptoms begin between 12 to 36 hours after ingesting contaminated food. These symptoms are double vision, blurred vision, drooping eyelid, slurs for speech, weakness that goes down from the body, if left untreated, it may progress to paralysis. Infant botulinum. Infant botulinum is super rare. The babies that are infected usually have a successful recovery. Babies that get infected by ingesting spores in the dust and dirt from toys. The reason they get sick is because their digestive system is super, super not fully developed. Honey is also a big factor to botulinum because it carries botulinum spores. Symptoms begin between 3 to 30 days. Symptoms are flat facial expressions, poor feeding, weak cry, decreased movement, trouble swallowing, and muscle weakness. Wound botulinum. This is caused by botulinum inhabiting in an open wound and reproducing in that open wound. This is also caused by drugs like black tar heroin, heroin and working in dirty environments. The cause is extremely rare. Symptoms that are drooping, eyelids blurred or double vision, trouble swallowing. This can progress to paralysis or death if untreated. Inhalation botulinum and Botox. Inhalation botulinum is usually caused by bioterrorism and extremely rare and deadly. You can merely go into respiratory failure and have to be and have to be supported by life support. Botox is very common in the US. It is used for cosmetics, for smoothing wrinkles and improving in appearances. There is a good size to Botox. It is also it also treats overactive bladder, chronic migraines, misaligned eyes, and control blinking. The bad side is that you are injected with neurotoxins into your body that could paralyze you if not treated. Symptoms are muscle weakness, near injected area, headaches, muscle stiffness, fever, drowsiness, and bruising, bruising and swelling near injected sites.
how to prevent Botan and buy a proof heat process for can for home canned foods. Always discard a canned good that is swollen, gassy, or spoiled. Don't taste canned goods that are leaking, swollen, or damaged. Refrigerate all leftovers and cook too. Boil home processed low acid foods like asparagus, corn, and beets. Never give infants under one under under one honey. Be aware from Botox, consult to a doctor. Treat for botulinum. Botulism is treated by antitoxins that block the action. Neurotoxins that fills the blood. The trivalent antitoxin goes against neurotoxins A, B, and E. The treatment can lower the risk of death and need treat the bacteria but may take weeks to recover. Another antitoxin is called hepatobacterium. Heptavalent antitoxins can treat neurotoxins A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Wound botulinum are usually treated by surgeries to remove the source of toxins producing bacteria. Inhalation botulinum can cause respiratory problems and may end up with breathing assistance like mechanical ventilator. Effects of treatment. Treatments lower the risk of neurotoxins from flowing around the blood. Recovery can last weeks. It lowers the risk of death. All side effects from botulinum are, are, will heal slowly. Side effects from antitoxin vary, but, vary, but headaches, hives, nausea, rash, redness of the skin is most common. Types of medication. Antibiotics are, use, are useful when having a wound when having a wound of botulinum. Antibiotics have no role in foodborne botulinum. Antibiotum, antibiotics are penicillin, phytomycin, and chloramphenicol. Antitoxins are useful to kill the neurotoxins developed by botulinum. Antitox, antitoxins used in hepto, heptavalent. Conclusion. Botulinum, botulinum causes by constricting botulinum, a bacterial infection caused by neurotoxins attacking nervous system, a bacterial infection caused by neurotoxins attacking nervous system. Four different types of botulinum is foodborne, inhalation, infant, Botox, and wound. Treatment is available. Antibiotics, antitoxins help treat the botulinum. You can prevent food from getting this bacteria by analyzing your canned goods. Never get Botox. Don't give honey to babies or dirty toys. Don't inhale botulinum and clean and protect your wounds. And that would be it for my presentation.